Hey guys, Super Horror Bro Mike here, and we are back for part six of a Resident Evil Village. And I think we're getting closer to the end now because, of course, in the previous videos, we've taken care of three of the four lords of this place. We're trying to reassemble our daughter Rose. We need one more flask in order to do so, and that is in the clutches of Heisenberg who is over here in this unexplored area. We've got two treasure chests to take a look at on the way potentially, and this is going to be the bulk of today's video. We're gonna go and meet with Heisenberg. He's got a challenge for us, and he says if we complete the challenge, we get Rose back, or we get the piece of Rose that he has back. So yeah, we're gonna do that. I hope you've been enjoying this series. I'm ready to get going. I've been waiting to play this all day while I've been editing the other videos and now I finally get to play again. So yeah, let's go. Let's not hesitate. So here we go. It says Rose is waiting for you and it's got an arrow pointing this way. So we need to follow the signs that Heisenberg has laid down for us and uh, the trail of bodies that he's left in his wake. The show must go on, it says. Indeed. So, let's head on through this door. We now have the key, of course, to unlock this. The six-winged unborn key. There we go. Off into uncharted territory. Good luck. We don't need luck from you, Heisenberg. We've got skill on our side, right? Oh, man, look at these dead bodies. Wait, what the heck is that? Oh look, it's like some ruins over there. Look at all the crows, just flying about. I don't like all these like disemboweled bodies hanging about. Let's take a look at the lay of the land. Well, that's certainly a sight. That's pretty weird. Oh, hello. Doesn't sound friendly to me. Oh no, they're all over the place. Right, this is it. Screw you. You come at me, you get the shotgun. Oh man, that shotgun absolutely rips and tears now. We upgraded it so much, it's just OP. Oh no. Oh no, 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 no. Maybe a bad idea, take them all on head first. Right, I'm going to start using my pistol because I can't afford to waste all the shotgun bullets. Oh my god, we're actually almost dead. Uh, do we have any pipe bombs is what I want to know. We've got a mine. I'm going to put this down and run. Hopefully they'll follow us right into our trap, come on. Nice, it worked. I kind of have a feeling that there's going to be a lot more where they came from though. Heisenberg has probably got a whole army of these things at his side, hasn't he? So that was just a little taster, you know, just a little invite. But we're up to the challenge, it's fine. Wow, look, that one's got a bow and arrow. It's like Lord of the Rings or something. That's actually awesome. Two headshots back to back. It's very ominous. I was going to say it's too quiet, but it actually isn't. <laughs> An explosive barrel. That would have come in useful back there. So this is kind of like another castle, but this one's in ruins. Unless it's part of the other castle we were in earlier. Oh great, we've got more. More of these hairy little nuisances. I'm just going to plug them full of lead. Our pistol's so rapid fire now. We just plug everyone full of lead straight up. I can hear someone. There's so many explosive barrels. Oh wait. There we go. That worked out nicely. A little bit of dynamite for what ails you. Ooh, and a headshot. I'll 
I'll take the Crystal Skulls. I'll take any Crystal Skull apart from the really bad Indiana Jones movie. That one you can keep. How do I get this door open? How do we get it open? Indeed. So we need to find a way through this. Okay. Yeah, I think we have to climb up here. Sniper profile ammo? Yeah, look, there's a pulley. I think there's one on the other side as well, though. Wait, I think more lichens are coming. They are. Shut up. Where are they? Oh, you know what? Boom. Nice. Dispatched like an absolute boss. What a legend we are. Oh, nice. You gonna get up? Get back down. Oh no. That was too close. We've only got one shotgun bullet left. Make it count. <laughs> wow, that guy took some beating. He got straight back up after being shot with his shotgun. And he was like, you know what? You're not taking me down that easily, mister. And I was just like, shut up, dude. <laughs> just absolutely plugging everyone full of lead. Oh no, that's bad. No. Okay, this is really bad. I'm wasting my sniper rifle ammo. How many of these things are there? Oh wait, we've got... Guys, we've got mines. Oh my god. I'm putting another one down. Oh no. I'm panicking, guys. I'm playing badly. I'm panicking. Let's heal ourselves up again. There we go. I love how Ethan can just put a mine down by his feet and it doesn't kill him. Have some of this. Surely that kills him, right? We actually got out of that situation. I can't believe it. This is like a like a full-on enemy gauntlet. Resident Evil Battle Royale. It's crazy how like the game has suddenly decided to just become a full-on action game now. <laughs> it's just like, you know what, we're not being a horror game anymore. This is just now an action game. And we're killing tens of werewolves at a time. Right, that should do it. Yeah, it's going down now. Good. I wonder if I was meant to like fight them all if, or if I should have just kind of tried to open the other side of the door and then evaded them. Doesn't really matter now. We killed everyone and got out of there. Look at this. This looks like it's Heisenberg's lair. Yeah, the stronghold. This is where he said to come if we wanted to get Rose back. Ooh, a save point. I'm going to save the game. I think I'm going to have to create another healing item as well because my health is quite low. There we are. All healed up. Alright, this doesn't look good. This seems like it's going to be full of lichens. It would stink in there, wouldn't it? Look at this place. Really impressive looking. This must be their den. I bet we have to fight that massive guy from the start with a huge hammer. That like giant like leader of the lichens. Okay, hello. You know what? Have some of this. Oh no, there's one behind us. Okay, go. We need to equip grenade launcher. No, run. Retreat. Retreat. Right, come on. Look, they just swung across. That's insane. Who do you think you are, Tarzan or something? There's some more up there. 
Oh, nice headshot. Oh, we shot him as he's swinging. And we shot him as he was swinging. Oh my god. That guy's massive. What the heck? He's dead. Was that me or was that guy huge? That's actually quite scary. Another headshot. I'm just going to hang back and get the headshots, guys. Pretty easy like this. If they swing across, we'll shoot them down. This is how you do it if you want to cheese it. Look at that. Absolute pro skills. This is all my years of Call of Duty coming back to me. <laughs> that guy just walked into the sniper rifle. He was like, you know what? I'm not scared of you. And um, he should have been scared because, you know, now he's pretty much, uh, his career is over. His career as a Lycan warrior is gone. Oh my god. He's an ugly brute. And now, he actually looks a bit nicer, you know, without his head. How many are there? Are they going to ever end? Another headshot. I hope you guys like headshots, because you're getting your fill. People that like quick scoping are going to be absolutely like having their fill in this game, you know? Oh, actually, why am I doing this? Why did I do that? That was really bad. That was really irresponsible of me. We need to heal. I don't know why I swung over to where all the lichens were, you know? Alright, 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 I've got an idea. Yes, strategist. We got like loads there. We killed like a whole bunch of them. I think that's why we got that trophy. Oh my god, I don't know what to do. Guys, what do we do? What do we do? What do we do? Where do we go? Alright, headshot. We keep going, we keep going rounds, we keep trying to get the headshots. I need to make some more ammo. Let's equip a pipe bomb. Oh my god, one just swung at me. <laughs> Did you see him? He just literally swung into the screen. Take that. Right, um, oh, there's some more. You guys are persistent. You guys are very persistent. How many of these things do we literally have to face? Because this is insane at this point. Is this like the most Resident Evil enemies in one encounter ever? I think it might be. At least it's up there. I'm getting more confident killing these things though. I remember at the start of the game I was so timid and scared around the lichens and now I'm just like, come on then. Might be a way we can just escape, I don't know. Got some chem fluids. Oh no, they followed me up. Nice. Wow, man, I'm getting good with this sniper rifle. If I may say so myself. You okay, guys. Guy. Oh no. Okay, there's a big one. Um, we put mine down then. Simple, simple as that. We put mine down. We back off. Come on. We put another one down. Let them come to me. Nice. Okay. Oh no. No. Guys, I'm gonna craft shotgun shells. I'm gonna load up the shotgun. Come on! Give it up! Oh no! That's really bad. That is really bad. Um, we need to heal. We need to get grenade launcher out. <laughs> it's gonna fall to the grenade launcher. Boom! Take that. This guy is really hard actually. I thought he would have gone down by now. Well, he's gone down now. That's the main thing. Ooh, perfect crystal skull. Nice. 
Please end. This is actually driving me insane at this point. Oh, the music's subsiding. Music has subsided. Okay, that's it. We've done it. Well, that was insane. I hope we don't actually have any battles quite that big again, because I honestly feel like that was overkill. Like, there was just... There was at least, what, 30, 40 enemies there to fight? I don't even know if I'm going to have included all of that in the playthrough, guys, because it just went on for like 10 minutes straight. Um, but we survived it somehow. One and done, which is really cool. Hopefully we find some more ammo pretty soon, you know. Wait, why is the music starting again? Are we going to have to fight more enemies already? I feel like we are... We're not getting any breaks here, are we? This is Heisenberg's lair. Oh, it stopped again. Maybe we are safe. Oh, why is that noise? I hear a goat somewhere. Oh, it's there. I'm going to slice that. Might as well get the collectibles. Oh, man, we've got to go through this little crevice in the wall. All right, here goes nothing then. I would hate this. I hate, like, cramped spaces. Oh my god, look at them! Guys, they're feasting on people. That's why the, all the bodies are hanging about, because the lichens just enjoy, like, feasting on them. Right, well, let's... You know, don't mind me, guys. Enjoy your dinner. I'm just, uh, passing through, you know? We'll be out of your hair, quite literally, in no, in no time at all. First aid. We've got safe. We've got ammo. And we've got a note. Let's read it. The king's orders finally arrived. Withdraw. It is most vexing that we must abandon the border stronghold to these heretics. If I had but a little more time, I know I might be able to turn the tide to this battle. Nay, I should not put on airs. It is my curiosity that ties me to this place. There are a number of ruins in the vicinity which the locals say are very ancient. The ceremony sites with four giant statues, the caves with murals carved on the walls, the stone plinth they call the giant's chalice. Where did the people who built them come from? Where did they go? It irks me that we must abandon this place without knowing. So this is somebody that travelled through before and fought like a great battle here. Oh well, they actually, it seems they abandoned the place. Maybe when the Lycans moved in and the Four Lords moved in. Anyway, we've saved the game. Let's keep going into these caves. See if we can find that pesky Heisenberg character. See, I feel like when we drop down here, we're going to get ambushed. Yep. We've got first aid, so there's obviously going to be another big battle. That's not good. That's not good. Hey, that's my line, Ethan. Oh, it's this big guy. Okay, you want to show? You want to throw down with me? It's giving us so much ammo as well, so we're obviously gonna have a big battle on our hands with him. Oh my god, he's got a huge hammer! Okay, let's see. Uh, let's just feel him out to start with. Let's just feel him out to start with. Can we go through here? Nope, that's locked. Right, we just have to run and shoot, run and shoot, run and shoot. Right, go. That was kind of a wasted shot there. I think I'm actually going to equip, guys, my um, grenade launcher to that slot there. And then I can actually use the grenade launcher to take this big guy. Oh my god, he's throwing pillars at me. Have some of that. Have some of that, punk. Ooh. The grenade launcher doesn't even slow him down if he's mid-throw. Right, go. Run. Did I die? No, I almost died in one hit. Come on, big boy. Run. Now we instantly turn around for the counter. Oh, he's going up. Okay, that was probably a waste of a bullet then. 
we hit him. We hit him, guys. We need to switch rounds to our uh, other rounds now. Oh, we blinded him. Nice. And now we go in for the shot. Shoot your shot. Headshots all around. He just shakes it off when we headshot him. Are you kidding me? Okay. Literally just dusts himself back off when he gets shot in the head of a sniper rifle. No, he's really angry now. We need to blind him again with the... Um, we need to blind him again with this, guys. All right, here we go. Come on. Kidding me? What are you? Stop missing. I don't think we're even damaging him. Is he like invincible at the moment? What is he calling back up? I love how that big guy, that big brute, needs backup. Like, talk about an unfair challenge. Have some of that. Have another one. Right, now we run. Might heal up as well. Come on, you big brute. We need to run. We need to go. Oh my god, he's right behind us. some of that. Are you going to throw a pillar at me again? No, you're not. I'm just going to shoot him, guys. I'm just going to pelt him. I just I don't know what else to do. Just, just put loads of bullets into him. Oh my god, there's, a, there's more of those guys. Um, can we craft one of these? Yes. Okay. Oh no! Oh, we've got the Magnum as well. We mustn't forget that. Yes! I think we got him, guys. We got a trophy up yours. <laughs> as if the last Each pipe yet. bomb killed him. And we've got this giant hammer now. Look at this. Crystal hammer. Again, we can sell that. That was an amazing, like, boss encounter. I guess it's amazing, man. It was an amazing boss encounter. Um, yeah, really cool, but really, really intense. And I actually thought that we were going to run out of ammo then. I almost switched to the Magnum, which, of course, is like this OP weapon that we got in the last episode. And I thought, you know what? If we get that Magnum, it'll probably take him out. But, I mean, if you look at our, like, wep our ammo situation now, I've got four rounds for the pistol, nothing for the shotgun. <laughs> Only two flashbangs for the grenade launcher, which don't actually do damage, to my knowledge. And then 11 rounds with the sniper rifle. So yeah, we kind of uh, depleted almost everything during that fight. But we took him out in the end with the old pipe bombs, and wow! Alright, this looks really cool. Like a crystal cave. Look, there's lots of crystals in the ceiling we can shoot out. One. Two. Three. This is nuts. We're going to be rich. <laughs> Just take all the crystals. Yellow quartz there. The Duke's going to be a happy boy. I think there's probably like some that I've missed, but I am actually out of ammo now for the handgun, and I don't really particularly want to like waste sniper rifle ammo on gemstones, so... We'll just move on. A herb. Oh, we got handgun ammo now, though. And we got a TV. And wait, is this? This is the rose flask, the torso. Mother Miranda. This is like a flashback. Okay. What? Huh? What? You're the real deal, Ethan. Well done. Quit hiding, asshole. I'm not letting you get out of this. <laughs> cool your jets. Just a little bit more, and you're all wrapped up. I'll lend you a hand. So in exchange, 
In exchange what? First of all, come to me. Put all the flasks in the altar, and I'm sure you'll figure the rest out. See you, Ethan. God damn it. Hmm, okay. So, it sounds like we have to go back to the altar and place all the flasks in there now, before we even get to meet Heisenberg. So maybe we've actually beaten this section of the game now. What's this? Gugelmo's plate. Or Gugelmo's plate? I don't know if I'm pronouncing that right. I'm probably not. Let's be honest. I'm good at mispronouncing stuff. Um, there's a boat here. This is our way out by the look of it. So... Back on the water we go. Hopefully nothing else is lurking in the depths like it was in my last episode. i got to say, though, I'm glad that we killed that giant dude with a hammer. Because that guy's been a pain in the ass since the start of the game. So it's his time had come, you know. <laughs> this episode is literally just going to be me shooting stuff. For like 90% of it. So hopefully you guys enjoy shooting stuff. We've got a way down there, we've got a way up there. I'm guessing this probably goes back to the surface. I'm going to head down here first. Ooh, this is kind of spooky. Feels like we're back in the castle, maybe. That would be cool if it did bring us back out in the castle. Photo of phantom fish. Oh, we already got the phantom fish in the last episode, didn't we? It was one of the secrets. Examine. Kadu implant notes. Subjects 174 to 181. Subject 174 is Mihai M. Characteristics. 21, male, silversmith. Scars from pneumonia. Results. Low affinity. Kadu failed to grow. Body transformation. Drop in cognition. Another lichen. Sent to pasture. So it looks like... When they turn into lichens, it's like not what they're looking for. Subject 177, Bernadette B. Characteristics 21, female, no occupation, no history of illness, results death. Subject 181, Alcina D. <gasps> so that's Lady Dimitrescu, or Dimitrescu, I should say. Um, this is, she was transformed by the look of it. It says characteristics 44, female, noble descendant. I'm not going to lie, she looked a bit older than 44 to me. Not from a village, hereditary blood disease, results very high affinity, no loss of cognition, arbitrarily able to control body transformation, applied cognition control procedure, and sent for observation. So it seems people with diseases were sort of susceptible to being almost like working well with these Kadu infections that they put in their bodies, but people that were in good health just died from the from the Kadu. So this is kind of just, I think, an extra area, guys. It's just given us that really cool twist in the story. We found out that Lady Dimitris is indeed an, an experiment herself, just like the daughters were. I love this game. I've just got to say it. Wait, where are we now? Oh, I know where we are. We're in the graveyard, which is just by the uh, town square. Here's the church. And then, yeah, look, back at the start. What is that noise? What was that noise? Wait a second. There's a giant beast in here. Guys, I'm actually going to face it, and I'm going to use our magnum to do so. Let's get a good look at this thing. I'm a big game hunter today, guys. Big game hunter, Mike. Come on. Come on. Re Fall to me. Yes. Trophy, leader of a pack. We took it down. Now, guys, if it took six shots, or was that five shots with a magnum? Ooh, Chris, Crystal of Ancient Beast. Nice. I, I can only imagine how much that's worth. But, yeah, if it took five or six shots with a magnum, I think it was six, right? Then 
that's probably like, what, 20 shotgun shots worth? Maybe more? So that is a really hard enemy. It's so lucky that we managed to find the Magnum in the last episode. It just goes to show it really pays to search thoroughly in this game for all the secrets. But yeah, you get everything in my playthrough. You get to see everything. I'm not going to deny you uh, a little side boss fight. It's my greatest pleasure to see you return alive. Thanks, Duke. Very kind of you. You wish to make a purchase? I wish to sell you something, actually. Some crystal fragments. A large crystal. A Viviante. Yellow quartz, which is worth 10k. Crystal skull, we've got 11. So, hello, money. Perfect crystal skull. Just one of those for 10k. The crystal of the ancient beast is worth 80,000. And we're selling it, of course. Crystal Hammer is worth 35,000. I love how, like, the Crystal Hammer was worth less when it was, like, this giant boss fight than the side boss. <laughs> we could sell the plates. You were part with this? Ooh. No, no, I'm more than happy to purchase it. Of course I'll part with it. Like, I didn't need to keep it for anything, did I? So we've got 215,515 lay now. I can hardly wait. Just excuse me a moment. So we're cooking up something now in the Duke's kitchen to upgrade our damage taken when guarding. Apologies for the word. Bird and beast plat. There we go. But I actually made some mistakes because if you remember in a previous episode I sold a lot of like the meat that we've been collecting and I didn't realize that you could cook it up in the Duke's kitchen. So when I do my next playthrough on my own time I'm obviously going to sort of um, make all these dishes to help me out. But I mean to be honest it's not really hard enough this game where I'd need all this stuff. I feel like it would be making the game too easy. So I don't know that I'd make it anyway. But I have obviously missed out on being able to make some of this stuff just because I sold the meat. Even though I've hunted like every animal in the game, which is kind of annoying. Anyway, let's have a look at if we can quickly upgrade some of our stuff. So, rate of fire on a magnum, that could be worth upgrading. These hands are more dexterous than one might think. Let's upgrade ammo capacity on the pistol. Mm -hmm. Reload speed. Ah, it's fine. All finished. I'm going to fully upgrade that gun. Might as well. We are going to upgrade. The sniper rifle. This simple modification can be done in just a moment. As well, there we are. I'm also going to see if there's anything good under our supplies. I've procured some new items for you, Mr. Winters. Might as well buy the flashbang recipe. <laughs> buy some first aids. I'm, on, I'm just going to buy loads of ammo. I'm going to buy loads and loads of ammo. Thank you for your purchase. There we go. We've, we've bought him out of all of his stuff. Right, cool. So I think we're well equipped Please now. Come again. We've got a lot of ammo. What we need to do now, guys, is put the different rose pieces in here. So the torso flask. There we go. We've completed one of the pieces of the altar. Wow. What was that? Oh, wait. I think these are all, like, visions from Rose's eyes. Like, this is what Rose has lived through in the past, and Ethan's, like, connecting with her as he puts these flasks in. <laughs> Some of you are going to be like, yes. <laughs> uh, let's put the other one in, the legs flask. Kind of a bit creepy. And let's put in the head flask. And now we've got the giant's chalice. What? Ooh, okay. Onwards. We need to go and meet Heisenberg. So I think the giant's chalice is going to be placed oh, up here somewhere. What's going on? If you remember, there's these giant statues of the different lords. 
all presiding over this umbrella logo in the middle of the um, clearing. We saw it earlier, I think in like episode 3. Here you go, see all the different lords of this valley all sort of like looking down on here. There's a button with the umbrella logo and we need to place the chalice down here. Which we've now done. How is he carrying that by the way? How does that even work? Hidden bridge. Okay. Temporary measures. Wait, we're going down. Um. Wait a second. Why can't we just cross the bridge? What? Why is it taking us down? I'm getting my shotgun ready. Screw hold it. Having a pistol out. Make sure that's loaded as well. Oh, I think I heard a goat. We just missed it. I think it was in one of the walls. Don't worry about the kid, Ethan. It'll be fine. Ha! Just get your ass across the bridge. Oh, the bridge is here. Okay. Makes sense. Wow, look at that view. So that's Heisenberg's factory. That's where he's, like, hunkering down, ready to meet Ethan. They're going to duel it out, I imagine. We've got save points or save the game. Right, it's time to go and meet Heisenberg. Cross this giant bridge. Man, this game is so nice, so pretty. Ah! Ethan Winters. Welcome. I didn't think you'd make it past Daughter Moreau, but I suppose you survived worse back in America, hmm? I like you. I'd like to speak to you about Rose and Miranda. Oh, come on in. Don't worry. It's not a trap. Look at all these tanks. And I'm pretty sure Where it is going to be a, a trap. I'm pretty sure it is going to be a trap, isn't it, guys, in there? Um, I don't trust a word that Heisenberg says. But at least we're entertaining him, I guess. At least somebody's happy. I'm just going to search for ammo. Some gunpowder. Okay, I guess we just head downstairs. I love how this game has like constant new locations to visit. What's behind this curtain? What the hell? Mia? Truth hurts, don't you? Let me guess. You're thinking. Take me out like the others, and then he gets to go and save Rose, right? I'm healing my daughter. Look, you, you, you got this all wrong. Tell me what I'm Shut your fucking hole! <laughs> I'm sorry about that. This guy's weird, but I like him. Take a seat. Listen, Ethan, you're being played. What are you talking about? You think this is a game? I said sit! <sighs> Lady, supersized bitch. Ugly ass psycho doll. And I'm running freak. Don't you get it? It's a test. To see if you're strong enough to be a part of Miranda's family. I don't want to be a part of Miranda's family. Neither did I, but here we are. And I'm next in line, right? Kill me, move up the chain. Well, fuck that! I don't give a damn about your personal issues. I just want to fix my daughter. <laughs> so do I. Do you have any idea how powerful a kid is? Even Miranda's scared of her. Last time, you freak! I swear to God! I don't want to discover what that is, but I feel like we're going to. You and me, Ethan. 
Together, we go save Rose, and we can use her to grind Miranda into paste. My daughter is not a weapon. Fuck you. He's gonna kick us down that hole, I guarantee it. Yeah. Last chance. You don't want to find out what's in that hole. I'll take my chances. Your funeral. I would have just pretended, like, yeah, yeah, I'll help you uh, get Rose. And then I would have just kicked his ass when he pulled me back up. But Ethan just... Wait, what is that? What the... What is that? It's like a, a, a set of chainsaws as a propeller for its head. Right, we better... Oh, we can't actually go that way. Great, okay. We're going up over this way then. Oh my god. It's one of these sequences where we just have to guess the right way to go. Um, oh my god. Okay, so we can't go this way. So what do we do? What the... Oh, down the hole. Down the trapdoor. That was close. That thing was insane. It was like a giant lichen with a chainsaw for a head. <sighs> We're safe. What was that? At thing? last. Actually, we're not, are we? I can hear it. Ooh. It's like a production line. Oh my god, they're actually modified. Oh, we can shoot their masks off. It's like they've got little VR headsets on or something. I'm glad we got that extra ammunition because I feel like we're going to need it. Quickly. Nice blocking on my part there. Right, so we've got new enemies which have little VR headsets on, but I think they're probably more like brain control devices or something. And we're in Heisenberg's factory, and obviously Heisenberg seems like he um, wants to get out of the family, like he's not happy with uh, Mother Miranda's family plan to have him killed by Ethan. Because Mother Miranda seems to want to incorporate Ethan into her family because she knows, you know, he has these powers from the events of Resident Evil 7. And having the sort of e virus in him. Wow. This place is messed up. Now that. I've got to get upstairs. Is an impressive sight. Wow. This game, I said it as we were walking into the factory. And I know it's really grim because it's like humans on a production line, it's like human test subjects. But this game looks incredible. Like, this is on PS5, but I have, I, you know, I imagine it's just amazing on whatever you're playing on. It's really awesome looking, isn't it? I'm a sucker for a. What the heck is he doing here? Duke? I've expanded my services. Please, come take a look. What I want to know the biggest mystery of this game is the Duke is a man of ample size, right? I mean, he, he probably would need a mobility scooter. He has that carriage to get about in. How is he going from being above ground near the village all the way inside the factory in the same time as it takes Ethan to get there when he's got his whole shop to move as well? It just doesn't make sense, does it? There's something that just doesn't quite calculate there. Ooh. What is this? It's a new gun. We've got machine gun. Oh no, that's a shotgun. That's just like a really insane shotgun. Like next level. So we've got an automatic pistol. I really want the automatic pistol. Come now. I'm a merchant. I can't after afford all. it though. We should have saved some of that money that we got to buy this stuff. I'm just gonna leave it for now. Hopefully we can save up for some of these other weapons. Well, 
Thanks anyway, Duke. I look Appreciate it as always. We can't use this right now. Okay, so we need to find out a way to power up this... Um, I think it's an elevator, maybe? So I think I'm actually going to end it there for today uh, and this part of the playthrough. We've done quite a lot today. Obviously, we fought all the lichens, that giant lichen boss. We killed a mini boss as well, which was a like a little side quest. And then we met Heisenberg and we've got like one step closer to Rose. We also find out that like, um, you know, all these lords were once normal people and were transformed by the Kaidu, by Mother Miranda. And... Heisenberg actually doesn't want to be, you know, one of her children, so to speak. So we've actually uncovered quite a lot about the plot today, and it's been really exciting. In the next episode, we're going to adventure through this kind of crazy, twisted human experimentation factory. We're hopefully going to find Heisenberg as well and put him down once and for all. And I imagine we're going to encounter that crazy helicopter head thing with all the chainsaws in its head as well and be running away from that some more. But yeah, I'm excited to sort of wrap up this game, guys. There'll probably be a few more episodes yet but that brings us to the end of today's one if you enjoyed today's video please leave me a like down below remember to comment and of course subscribe for more videos just like this one and i'll see you all on the next one